from a photographer's standpoint, I think it's the ultimate canvas. I mean, for me, it combines a lot of what I like about photography. I love shooting. I love the mountains. Obviously, I moved to Banff for a reason. I love to document people having fun in the mountains, interacting with the environment. And I think you'd be hard pressed to find a more magical way to interact with the environment than to just sort of send out a model across a perfect stretch of ice where they look like they're almost levitating, walking on water. I mean, you feel like a little bit of a superhero, I think. You're gliding along, you know, when the ice is really good early in the season and you feel like you're just uh, zooming past the scenery without having to put in, you know, too much work with that turquoise under your skate, the odd fish maybe, the lake bottom. It's a little bit surreal for sure and it's something you never forget. I personally grew up skating on lakes in eastern Canada and so as soon as I moved to the Rockies I started looking for the same thing. I discovered that there was a small community of people actively looking for the best possible ice, especially early in the season. It becomes addictive. So for me, you know, when October rolls around, I start paying attention to the forecast and doing some scouting trips, going for a drive, seeing where the lakes are at, along with lots of other people and we're all in touch. I love sort of the teamwork aspect of it, the community aspect of it is really, really neat. When social media came along and imagery got shared widely, it was easy to find when a lake was good and where. For people who are looking for that wild experience, it's not hard to find. You know, Lake Minnewanka is 24 kilometers long. Once you're past the first kilometer or two, you have the place to yourself. There's backcountry lakes that you can go and visit. I think there's really something for everyone. It's just a matter of putting in the work a little bit to find that sort of solitary experience.